Hey guys, I'm Brittany with 2Fab and we're here with Josh Flagg, star of Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles. Thank Hi. you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, you know, being in the LA real estate market, um, have you worked with very many celebrities? Yes. The funny thing about when a celebrity buys a house is usually the business managers or the attorneys mm -hmm. do the deal. The celebrity will come in one time, usually in the beginning, they'll look at the property and then they just disappear. Right. And then the, the manager and, and the lawyer takes care of everything else and they don't even usually come for the final walkthrough or inspection. Okay. They're usually traveling or doing something like that. Okay, yeah, always busy. Right. <laughs> um, do you find that you know working with celebrity clients are easier or more difficult to work with? Generally, you're working with their managers, it sounds like. Well, usually more difficult because the business manager is usually there to prove themselves to the mm -hmm. client and make themselves you know, they're usually trying to pounce their chest and make the make the make the celebrity feel like they're really, really working hard for them. But at the end of the day, they're really making their lives <laughs> a living disaster yeah. because they're just. It's a lot easier when it, when a normal, you know, you or I come into a house mm -hmm. and just do a normal escrow. But yeah. like when you have a celebrity and you have a business manager and a lawyer and a money manager right. and all this, you have like so many different people, mm -hmm. and it just gets very complex. But if you're a good agent, you can handle that. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Um, now, what do you think is the most in-demand area in Los Angeles right now for celebrity buyers? Truesdale. Truesdale? Yeah, okay. in Beverly Hills. City of Beverly Hills, views, mm -hmm. uh, that's the number one area for everybody. For everybody, yeah. Very yeah. elite. And what do you think is the next up-and-coming uh, area in Los Angeles right now to purchase real estate? The next up and I mean, as the high-end areas of the west side become so expensive and they become filled up, you just move generally more east and more east and more east as because there's no more inventory on the west side right. so you know for instance the bird streets in truesdale they've just become so expensive so the next you know you work your way towards those filas and even that's really expensive mm -hmm. but i mean eventually we're going to be going to compton <laughs> yeah <laughs> eventually compton's going to be the same price as Beverly Hills. yeah yeah now you recently sold your own house on the sunset strip uh -huh. um where are you living now these days so I sold that house and then I bought a really cool estate in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. um, which I'm either, which most likely I'm going to tear down and build a new house on. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. That'll be really fun. Yeah, that's the plan is to tear it down and build a really cool Hampton style house. That will be very cool to design your own everything. But maybe not. I don't know if I want to build. So I may just, I don't know. We have, there's yeah. options. <laughs> yeah. And you're living with your boyfriend Colton right now, right? Yeah. Um, and you guys have been together for a while. Do you ever talk about marriage or? Sure, but we're still, I mean, I'm not even 30 yet, so. Yeah, that's true. You're we very don't young. don't worry about that <laughs> yet. On the show, you talk about trying to become LA's top selling agent. Um, do you think you're close to like being the number one guy in Los Angeles? Frankly, right now I am. Really? Okay. <laughs> right now, the, I became the number one salesperson in volume. Mm -hmm. uh, so for January through August, I was the number one person, and number two in uh, actual numbers. Oh wow! Okay. So right now I, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. Congratulations. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> and who do you think is your biggest competition on the show? I don't think anyone on the show has competition. Really? Really. Okay. All right. <laughs> and you know what's coming up next for you? Uh, well, we have our show coming up uh, in September, really, really soon. Uh, this will be season eight. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. And the ratings just get higher and higher and people just have grown to love the show and mm -hmm. we've franchised into different markets and now we have New York and mm -hmm. San Francisco and LA and it's just very exciting. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me. Of course. <laughs>